Hello everyone out in Ashland. Uh, this is Michael Herbert, our town manager here. I just wanted to start providing little brief updates on uh, coronavirus and how we're addressing it here in Ashland. Hello and welcome to Around the Clock. I'm your host, Yolanda Greaves. Different times call for us to do different things. I'm doing my part of the show from my home studio. Uh, we fortunately have great staff at WACA TV helping us record this at the WACA studios. Mitchell. Um, I serve on the select board here in Ashland and I'd just like to take a minute to talk about uh, community media and, and specifically you know our WACA TV and the importance of this resource for for our community. Certainly the pandemic has really underscored uh, how important of a resource this is in terms of getting information out to our community uh, as well as providing uh, you know, a, a platform for civic engagement. Hello, this is Chief Vin Alfano of the Ashland Police Department. As the Chief of Police, I work with uh, WACA almost daily, and I have to tell you, um, it's an amazing organization. We've used them for all kinds of public interest projects, special projects. Uh, they've been great with us as far as special interest concerns like the COVID virus. We're talking about issues in town, uh, if we have particular crimes that occur, WACA has been great about putting that out. And they actually operate as, as sort of Ashland's mini news station too. Hi, my name is Yolanda Greaves. You may know me from my show Around the Clock here on WACA TV. It's important for us as a community that we have our local cable station. As COVID hit, we jumped into once a week having our show and recording and getting important conversations and important interviews with local people here in Ashland. We were able to get more information through WACA TV through people who watch it on cable, through those who are doing via live stream or Facebook or seeing our stories in different ways on social media. And then on the kind of the grassroots side of our community, things like the Farmer's Market, things like Ashland Day, events like the Dragonfly Festival, uh, Ashland Community Theater, you know, these a continuation of these events that are really important to the community and, and continue to keep that engagement alive. I always knew this day would come We'd be standing one by one With our future in our hands So many dreams, so many plans I always knew after all these years There'd be laughter, there'd be tears But never thought I'd walk away With so much joy and so much pain And it's so hard to say goodbye but yesterday's gone we gotta keep moving on I'm so hi everyone this is jim adams superintendent of schools i want to say thank you to WACA for providing us throughout this entire challenging year the opportunity to spread the news that's happening within the schools actually taking time to cast all of our webinars to keep families informed about COVID-19, our school committee meetings, our building committee meetings. They've gone over and above everything you can expect of a local cable channel. Hi, my name is Stephen Marks. I'm the athletic director for Ashland. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank WACA TV for everything that they do. This year in particular, with everything going on, WACA has been fantastic to work with. They are live streaming every single one of our home games um, throughout this fall season. Um, we cannot thank them enough. This gives not only our community opportunity to see our kids play, but also the opportunity of our opponents. Um, 
they get to see their kids play as well. Hi folks, uh, Captain Lynn Morahan here with the Ashland Fire Department. WACA TV has been invaluable to us as an organization for the past 25 years and our collaboration with them has just gotten stronger and stronger over those years. As the Chief of Police and, and uh, the Police Department on a whole, we thank everyone that works at WACA. They do an amazing job of getting the word out and to you, to all the residents of Ashland, on what's going on in this town. It's such a vibrant community that many times uh, special events, the marathon, parades, community events, all of these things you, you find out about because of our cable TV station. So great station. Um, they're number one in our book. We can't thank you enough, WACA. Thank you for everything you do for our community, for the athletic program, for the schools, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, WACA, and I appreciate the time and effort. For a small town like ours, oh, any way we can get our local news out, and that's why we are so fortunate to have WACA TV and the whole crew there helping us get our stories out and making sure we stay connected in this very challenging time. I have come to um, the, the conclusion that uh, local media, local community access is, is super important and we need to uh, make sure that we support them and that uh, uh, it's, it's, we maintain a, a, a viable and important uh, access to information and, uh, and events and keeping us connected as a community. So. Please, if you, if you run across any of the members uh, from WACA-TV, uh, you, you know, say hello and, and give them a, 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 a voice of support.